Hello guys, welcome back to our channel reviewing Indian. Today we are going to review the new kit in the 150 to 180 cc segment, the Hero Extreme 160R. First of all, sincere thanks to Mr. Prasad of Gayatri Motors Palakkad for allowing me to shoot the video and Mr. Manikandan for helping me on the same. If you are in Palakkad or nearby areas, please contact on the given number on the screen for better offers and great service. So let's start with the front end first. You get a modern looking front end with V-shaped what Hero calls as droid LED headlamps and DRLs that provides adequate illumination during night and looks aggressive and youthful for sure. On the sides, you will notice that even indicators get LED bulbs which is a nice touch, especially while considering the segment. Coming down, we can see the 37mm telescopic front forks and muscular looking dual tone mudguard followed by 100 section 17 inch tubeless tyres with alloy wheels. We get two 76mm petal discs with single channel ABS doing braking duty at the front and at the back you can get either two 20mm disc or 130mm drum depending on the variant. Ground clearance is a respectable 167cm. Rear tires are larger 130 section radial ones with 7 step adjustable monoshock suspension working along with the box section swing arm. Next you get wide handlebars with bar and weights to reduce vibration which has pass light switch, high low beam switch, a hazard light button and a horn button. Let's listen to the horn now. On the right, you get a single switch that does the duties of engine kill switch as well as startup button. The rear view mirrors do offer adequate visibility. Coming to the instrument panel, you get all digital unit with reverse LCD display that has a tachometer, speedometer, a clock, twin trip meters and a fuel gauge. I wish Hero had provided a gear position indicator as well. You also get telltale lights such as side stand warning, engine warning, neutral light, indicator light and high beam indicator and ABS light. I wish instrument panel was a bit more brighter as visibility is affected during bright days while nighttime visibility is excellent. Now let's talk about the fuel tank. We get funky looking fuel tank that can accommodate 12 liters of fuel. The filler cap is flush fitting but lacks a hinge function. But operating the same is an easy affair though. At the side, we get dual tone panels and some snazzy looking sticker work as well. You get three color options such as sports red, pearl silver white and vibrant blue which is my personal choice. Now let's talk about the engine. We get BS6 complaint, fuel injected, single cylinder, 163cc air cooled, two valve unit that puts out a healthy 15 HP and 14 nmm of torque that is paired to a slick shifting 5 speed gearbox. The rider foot pegs are foldable and brake and gear levers do look chunky and robust. Hero claims a segment leading 0 to 60 time of just 4.7 seconds, which is impressive. You will also notice the kick starter which is a rare sight nowadays. Thank you Hero. Hero also says that vehicle has auto sail function which allows you to glide through traffic effortlessly without much throttle input which is a nice touch. We get powder coated exhaust that has chunky looking end cans and emits kind of a low bassy notes. Let's listen to the exhaust note now. Coming to the seats, we get a large and comfy single piece unit that has adequate cushioning and looks good enough for a couple of hours of non-stop riding. The seat height is 790mm and is comfortable for a person of my height and my height for your reference is 172cm. Even taller people will feel comfortable on rider as well as pillion seats. And finally, we get a muscular looking rear with edge shaped LED tail lamps and LED indicators. The pillion grab rail is integrated to the underside of the bodywork. Now let's go for the test ride. The engine start is a quick and silent affair. 
clutch feels light and gear shifting is slick. The first thing you notice is the lightness of the vehicle. It is one of the lightest in the segment with dual disc variant weighing just 139.5 kg. The vehicle pulls cleanly and while I couldn't try the 0 to 60 timing, the vehicle feels brisk especially up to a speed of 75 to 85 kph. The sound and vibrations are well contained and doesn't seem to be struggling even while near to the 9500 rpm redline. I was riding with the pillion and ride quality was superb. The handling is spot on and even during quick direction changes, I didn't feel like the vehicle is going to tip over or become unstable, which I think makes it suitable for even for people of smaller size as well. I took the vehicle up to 80 speed and I can feel that it can do that speed all day without much of an issue, while the indicated top speed might be somewhere around 110 range. The engine revs quick and sweet, which will help in managing the fatigue during long highway rides. Braking feels adequate with the initial bite being progressive and vehicle stop without much of a drama from at speeds of around 60 kph. But lack of rear ABS means the rear could lock up if the surface is wet or has sand, gravel on top of it. But this is the case with all single channel ABS motorcycle anyway. With an overall claimed mileage of 50 kmpl, Hero can easily cover well over 550 km on a single tank before needing refuel, which again could come in handy during long rides. Low end torque helps city riding and you can go down to as low as 40 kph in 5th gear which will definitely help in the city rideability. Overall test riding experience was enjoyable and feels like a pretty good step up from 125cc motorcycles and scooters. Now let's come to the final verdict part. At around 1.25 lakhs on road, the Hero Extreme 160R is a sweet motorcycle to live with. It looks funky, has good low and mid end grunt, good mileage comfy suspension and CP handling due to lower weight. It is also kitted well for the price with features such as LED lamps, LCD instrument panel, hazard light button and single channel ABS. You will also feel peaceful due to Hero's war service network. Reviewing end and final score 8 out of 10. A zippy motorcycle that can be great alternative to models such as Apache 160, Honda Hornet and Bajaj Pulsar 160.